Cool. So can you do this again on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. So if you do that when I get it uploaded, I can't guarantee it'll be uploaded tonight. Well, I guarantee it won't be uploaded tonight by the time. Before I get home. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, I'll, I'll go now. It takes three hours for it to get uploaded. It's so bloody slow. Right, anyway, so like you say, so your front wall is nice and straightforward. When you cut into it, like you say, you feel it, make sure you get rid of that excess leathery onion skin. Then make sure you keep your root ball as tight as possible. There, so that holds it all together or else it'll start falling apart and become a bit of a nightmare. We want to keep half of a mirepoix, mir mir so I'm using half a brunoise, alright? So like I say, so you claw, as always, like down. Because it's a brunoise, we want it nice and fine. So get the slices as fine as possible. All the way down. And all the way to the back, yeah? So basically I've got a half a finger thickness maximum, but it's still all holding together, it's not falling apart, yeah? So that's basically what we need to be doing there, so it's nice, it's still all held. And then basically through, depending on the size of the onion, one or two times, maybe three if it's that big. And basis basically, nice and fine, take your time. Today I want precision, today I want time taken over your, night, over your cuts, yeah? So we can get it more confident in what we're doing but also get it better. Like I said, I don't want too much waste. You know, so that's, that's all you should have left. Not half the onion, as I've seen. As, uh, for when the new, new guys normally start, you have that much as the macro. That'll be fine. We holds in the in, in there, so it's easier for us to film. You know, basically like so, happy days. So that's what you want, a nice fine dice, like so. It's on a fresh tray, and that goes on the fresh tray. It is. Like so. All right. The so, Brunmars, what's next? Go. Give me another one. Julien. Julien. Happy days, we'll do Julien. Always make sure you wipe the board down after each task, so you're not leaving mess everywhere. All right. So, Julien. Carrots obviously come in different sizes and thicknesses etc etc what you need to do is make sure that you work with it so that it's comfortable for yourself so what i mean by that is i'm going to use this one for my julienne i'm going to use that one for my macedoine and my baton and my paysan as well as that one and some of them for the mirepoix all right so this one will be for my julienne so what we need to do is basically get it to the size you want so i'm going to go there like so what we do is i'll keep that because i'm going to use that for something else and then basically you've got to square off. Like that. Alright, so it's squared. Keep that because I'll go with my veg stock because I'm making a stock and not wasting it. Julienne, yeah? Yep. Okay, Julienne. So Julienne, matchsticks, nice and thin. Give me an example of a dish you can use Julienne in, please, Gav. All right, Angela, give me another example of a dish you could use julienne in. Salad. Excellent salad. Why? Sorry? Why? Because you don't want to be sitting there eating it like a rabbit. Yeah. So basically, it's nice and light. It's delicate, so you can put it in a salad because it's crunchy. It's going to add a bit of texture to your salad. But like you say, it's not like a baton or something like when you have a big chunk of it. You know what I mean? The crudity, like a baton, happy days, but that's a dip or something. But salad, yeah? Cool. Anything else? What can you think of a julienne and go in? Uh, I can eat it. So again? Candy tooth, we use a type of julienne stuff. For? Candy tooth, like peel and stuff. Alright, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you zest. So you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you use you, julienne, you're cutting the zest in the julienne. So yeah, happy days, cool. Say pastry, you know, you know, coming in from your pastry side. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Right, so like I say, it's nice and thin. Also, you can use it if you ever heard of on papillot. Yes. So what papillot is? Uh, it's like a parcel. Yeah, in a parcel. So basically, you do something like that. Say, for instance, you have a julienne, a veg. You know, it's basically steamed, it's nice and light, it's healthy, it's a summer dish more than anything else. And what you do is you, you, you'd have a grease proof, and a julienne, a veg, whether it be veal, it's normally a white meat, veal, chicken, a bit of white fish, salmon or something like that, and then over the top, then you pass it over. A little bit of vermouth, a little bit of white wine in the oven, that steams it, so it's all nice and light, it's all nice and fragrant. But your veg is going to cook quickly, so it's going to be there, but it's going to have a nice colour. So. So yeah, so good, up your days. Right, so Julien, like you say, you strip down and then you just work along it. Just making sure 
Play safe. At all times. Okay, so that's the carrots at Julienne. You see, I'm not wasting them extra bits. I'm going to put them in me in the stocks, so they're not going to get in the waste. 